something pretty cool, which you see right here. This is a CNC machine. Yes, it's in a house, it's for a homeowner. I mean, the price point on it is a lot lower than I would expect. Uh, Dan spent a lot of time setting this thing up, learning how to use it. So I'm gonna actually let Dan take it away and kind of go over this whole thing. All right, cool. You guys, real quick, fast. This is the X car. Like Eric said, it's a, it's a home CNC machine. You could use it for uh, industrial stuff too, I'm sure. I mean, it's pretty rugged. But the mm -hmm. thing is, is most CNC machines are 25, 3,500 and up, you know? X car from Inventables, they're in Chicago, sent us out this unit. But you could get into an X car for roughly seven, eight hundred dollars and then work your way up from there. This is the. Uh, a bigger model that it comes with and we also did an optional of a different router which we're going to go into in a second but basically you get it and you have to assemble it and i think you know uh before i got this i knew nothing about cnc machines routers anything like that okay it's been a, a learning curve and a learning experience but now that i've had it up and running for a month or two i really like it it's a new hobby of mine it's something that i love to do it's relaxing we've been periscoping at night just having this thing running people have just been watching us make signs all kinds of stuff and i feel like just the, since you do have to put it together you get a pretty good idea of how the machine functions how it runs and if there's any issues how to troubleshoot them now um, all the wires that they come separate and you had to put all those like no, where everything they go. comes with it. You put it all together. No, I understand that, but the wires are separate. You had to plug them in where they got to go. Yeah, the back, you back screw them in where they go. Way. You even put the power supply together partially. There's even some soldering. Um, and don't be scared about the soldering. It's not that hard. It's just you know on a board you hold a little heat to it and solder a couple uh, wires on it. Okay. Um, but that being said, you know it was just. I wouldn't say it was easy to put together. It was definitely challenging. But, like, you know, if you're into Lego or something like that and you go buy their biggest kit, it's challenging. Yeah, exactly. You know? it's, it's, gonna, it's not going to be, it's not an Ikea thing to build. Well, I it's, think what's cool is you got all these parts and once it's together, you can see, wow, I actually built that, I put it together, you make it function and make it work. I think that's cool. Right, exactly, Eric. And, uh, you know, like he said, we just put it together and uh, I've had a lot of trial and error with it. A lot of you guys have seen us on Periscope have the trial and error. Uh, I'm going to go over a few of the issues that we had first, but I want to say the forum over at inventables.com is just awesome. I mean, you go there and ask a question, within minutes usually you have a response. Um, and they have all kinds of different projects over there. I've got a lot of projects like these clamps, Fletcher Guitars, that guy made these, and he just shares them through a program called Easel, which is another way this is... Gets, you can get into this easier with the program easel what it does is it makes it easy for you to design and print your own uh, um, design so you load it into the software and psh, good to go right right yeah, and it's got its own software you can make quick signs with text it's got a few shapes in there and stuff but uh if you know anything about it svg files you can import svg files into it so it's like a vector file oh, right um, sure. but there's definitely a lot you can do i would like to see you know, easily expand. It's going to. It is online. You have to have internet connectivity to work it. You're saying the software expand? Yeah, yeah because just... there's certain things I want to be able to do, like just change speeds and stuff like that. But we're not going to go into that now. We'll get into that in a different video. Um, so basically, you guys, this has the upgraded stepper motors on the sides here. Uh, we got the belts. The belts were a little tricky at first to put on. Uh, I just realized that you have to put heat shrink on here. To lock them so they don't slip. I would get them all in and all of a sudden they would slip and I'd be back to square one. It was kind of frustrating until I saw someone post about the uh, heat shrink, which helped a lot. I also replaced the router that it comes with. Uh, it comes with a uh, this router right here. It's actually called a spindle. Now, there's advantages to this one, too. This one can be controlled by the X-Carve to speeds up and down. This one oh, I can control manually. Oh, okay. Yeah, like that you'll put in. It, I'm cutting MDF, so it'll figure out all those uh, equations for you and take, you know, the hard part out of the equation. So, basically, I put the uh, DeWalt DWP611 router on there, and I gotta say, it kind of really rejuvenated this machine. Uh, you know, you're not getting any stalls. You got a lot of power. It's got an LED light on it. Um, like I said, you know, the only down part to it is I have to control the speed myself up here, which is not a, not a rough not thing. A good deal. Um, also on Inventables, I saw this dust collection system, which I'm still kind of screwing with till I get the perfect, uh, perfect situation going. So, you know, it's just a huge community where you can build your own things. It's pretty amazing, you guys. And just building signs for your kids. Yeah, he built two awesome signs from They look cool, and I think we're going to show that to you in another video. Unless you did the... Uh... We're doing overlays. Okay. Yeah, you guys are seeing the stuff we've built right now. Um, 
plastic you can carve, you can carve plexiglass, you can carve aluminum on this machine. Uh, you know, the only downfall to a CNC machine is that it's loud. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And uh, one thing you gotta learn about a CNC machine, which I'm learning just from the forums and stuff, is before every run, it's like an airplane. You gotta have checklists. Gotcha. You know, you got to go through, okay, are these wheels tight? Is this thing ready? Is this going to create a problem for me? Are the tracks clean, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, is everything, anything loose over here? You feel for loose pieces because when it's moving, I mean, it can go fast, you know? When it's moving, stuff gets, you know, unscrewed. Well, yeah, and, I was say by the vibration over time, I would think would be, you know. Exactly, exactly. But uh, other than that, you guys, I can't say enough about the X Carve. I think everything about it is... Uh, it's just awesome. I think it's great that we can now get, you know, these things for under a thousand dollars. This one here I think was about twelve hundred with all the little options that we put onto it. But uh I mean it's just it's just a cool thing to have you guys and it's it's more than just a machine, it's a hobby. So Yeah, and the stuff it seems like it's pretty much unlimited what you could design and build. Yeah. I mean it seems that that's what I like about it. Absolutely, absolutely. And like I said, you know, you're gonna put this you're not gonna put this together in an hour. I mean it probably took me a good four or five nights working on it three to four hours each night you know taking my time putting something together you know typical tools in action i put it together backwards yeah, have to take it off you don't know, forget <laughs> to put this in you know but hey that's the learning curve you yeah. know they, they have videos online that show you how to put it together but the good thing is if you ever have a problem you can actually replace it yourself you can pretty much diagnose it and fix the problem right, right. Away. And you can find the parts you need, and you just go online, inventables.com, and you know it's got a warranty. They take care of it. They're right here in Chicago. Um, so I can't say enough about it, you guys. It's very cool, and we're going to make a lot of cool stuff, uh, and you're going to start seeing it in our videos and stuff yeah. like that. And I hope to have more x Card videos because I'm just going to start churning out ideas. So. <clears throat> Anything cool. else you need to add? No, I mean, no. Yeah. All right, cool. And then another real quick thing, you guys. Uh, one thing when I first did get into this, I felt kind of like out in the world in this because I didn't have the right bits. You know, you can buy starter bits, but uh, these bits right here, you guys, these quarter-inch bits I found on Amazon. They're like $14 each. Yonico seem to be the best for this to walk around. How many bits do you get for it with it? Well, you just get like a five pack, but they, okay, they come in like the three eighths gotcha, okay. or whatever. Okay. Um, so you get these thicker bits, and man, I've just been carving like crazy with this DeWalt, just going through. I mean, there I just keep wanting to carve, 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 but right now I'm on hold because I need to design a better dust system because the DeWalt is blowing a lot of air through the bottom. So someone on Inventables actually came up with a dust diverter. Which I'm waiting for plastic tomorrow. I'm gonna print it out and I'll probably show it to you at the end of this video. So, all right, you guys. Cool. Tools next, you click the link below. Go check out Venables. Let us know what you guys think of the CNC machine or CNC router and let us know um, what you guys uh, wanna see made. All right, tools in action.
Remember, for more exciting tool action, go to toolsinaction.com.